Real Agriculture Outcomes coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show 2012 is brought to you by Pride Seeds, High Stick NT, and SoybeanSchool.com. quite a few plots here of oilseed radish and what we did is we planted them at different times and we've got a, a common variety compared to a tillage radish and everybody is asking us okay what's the difference between oilseed radish and tillage radish other than than just the the variety so this is the common oilseed radish common seed nine kilograms per hectare it was planted on july 13th a little bit earlier than what we would normally plant it but for demonstration purposes it's great it's a broadleaf it's in the same family as canola and some of the brassicas it's very fast growing and this is one of those crops that if you apply it after manure is applied it really utilizes that nitrogen and holds it in green form you can see these two the common seed versus the tillage radish planted the same day planted at the same rate um, very good density not too many weeds that got through but take a look at the, the biggest difference one's gone into flower it's booted it's it's uh, if it doesn't get harvested soon it's going to be a weed problem next year where the tillage radish has not gone into bloom uh, into bloom or into head or seed production and that's one of I think the biggest benefits of the tillage radish if we put it into mixes or if we seed it by itself we don't have to worry about the six weeks from seed to seed um, it can stay longer in the rotation and we don't need to um, to worry about it the root now this this pot did not have nitrogen it's working on the nitrogen that was applied at planting and then from last year this is the root so far from that tillage radish. Uh, the root, here's another root from the tillage radish. This is the root so far from the other radish. Now there's probably some that will be bigger, but so one of the questions that gets asked quite commonly, and it was a problem last year, is will this get into tile drains? The answer is potentially yes. Last year when it was wet, and it rained a lot. Um, we, we did have some comments where there was some oilseed radish that plugged up tile drains. So that is a precaution. In the next plot, we've got the exact same two varieties. The only difference is that in this case, they were planted on August the 3rd, probably a little bit more typical of planting dates. This is just starting to go into, into flower where again, the tillage radish is still in vegetative state. Doesn't look that much difference. So if you look at the, the growth, um, you might have more going into the roots, a little bit less going into the flowers and into the seed. Um, overall, root activity is probably fairly similar. In the spring, when the oilseed radish dies over winter, in the spring you'll see these holes in the ground that basically just have the skeletons of the oilseed radish. It just looks like a sponge that's left over. The next plot is the exact same thing, only in this case it was planted August the 20th, so it's just nicely come up. You can tell the difference when it's dry. Here we've got a little bit more weed competition, it's not quite as uniform. And at this point the common seed and the, and the tillage radish don't look a lot different in their, in their, um, their root, or sorry, their, their growth pattern. The next is what a lot of people would have done, they would have waited till the end of August for that seed to seed six weeks. Um, this is what it would look like. It's amazing how much growth we've gotten just in the past couple days, but it doesn't take long to come out of the ground. Um, in six weeks, this will be starting to head. And then it depends on how long the fall is be before uh, you get that kill in. So if, it, if, if we've got a long open fall, then we potentially will have to clip it just to, to make sure we don't have seed problem or uh, weed problems next year. 